So a lot of times when you're RVing, the Midwest gets a bad rap. But rather than just blow through the Midwest states, I have a tip that's going to change your entire RV adventure. There's some crazy cool little spots that are hidden all over in every state. And one of them is what I'm going to show you today. It's Psycho Silo. How cool is this? The Psycho Silo Saloon, Langley, Illinois. This is so cool. Take a look at that. This is the coolest place I've been in a long time. It's a late July day. It's about five in the evening on a Saturday night. And this place is rocking already. I can't imagine what this is going to be like later tonight. They got a good bar food menu, excellent drinks, live music. This is like an ideal stop. It could be a destination as far as I care. I, I'm going to come back here, that's for sure. What the frick is this? Axe throwing? Serious? Beer and axe throwing. This, is, this might just be my favorite place. Let's go check it out. <laughs> what, are, what are some things I should check out around, oh, around this place? Suggestion box, the weather vane, the top of the green bed. Okay. Out here on the east, up in the trees, there's a, a motorcycle. In, up, up the trees? Way up about 30 feet. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right, I'll check there's it out. Stuff all over. I'll come back and have a beer with you. Uh, I thought it was going to be a rattlesnake or something like that. <laughs> wow, so my past life as an aviation guru, this is like some kind of monument to my life. How cool is that? Uh, airplane inside your bar or outside your bar, however you want to look at it. This place is cool. Well, it is about 90 degrees out here, and I am thirsty, so I think it's about time for a refreshing beverage. Which one do you like better between, this is like super cool, but I kind of like this black, black tie-dye one too. I would do this one. Okay, set me up with a medium, a medium one like this and uh, a little can cozy. Okay. Psycho Silo. Cheers. So I'm here at Psycho Silo Saloon in rural Illinois and it is amazing you got to come check this out and I was lucky enough to catch up on it with Troy the owner of this place the owner and founder of this place and I am excited this place is so unique and cool uh, I just wanted to get your inspiration I guess back in I think it was 1910 there was a, a shootout here this was a town called Langley there's like the elevator and 
train stop. They, they attacked him, robbed the train, and they killed the engineer. And they ran down here and hid out in the in the rail cars. And I guess Bureau County heard about it. They brought out a posse. They just start shooting out, and then, so the cops start shooting in. And this lady gets shot in the hand. It's like a bunch of chaos. And uh, one of the cops got shot. Apparently, throws his rifle to the rail worker and says, "Get him!" And he chases the guy down the tracks and shoots him. And now it's a pretty cool story. Yeah, it is a cool story. Especially yeah. cool story because then you like, yeah, develop this theme. And does the theme, uh, the psycho silo, does that does that have any significance, uh, or you name, just kind of wanted the name to... was kind of like. I don't know, it was kind of creepy out here at night, you know, you'd come out here and I think one night I said, I'm going to go out there and climb up to the top and see what I, you know, the lights and whatnot. And I get out here and the, the leads are scraping against the building and the, you know, raccoon shoots out from underneath me and I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going up in that thing tonight. You know? <laughs> so it kind of, we started calling it the psycho silo. Well then it just kind of stuck. And when we, used to, when we opened, we just ran with it. Yeah. I'm, gl I'm glad we did because it, it flows with everything. Yeah, and it's really yeah, lots, of, bike, lots so. of good people for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, cool. Well, cheers. Yeah. Well, I love your place, and I think if you are anywhere in the Midwest, put a dot on the map and and swing through here for a refreshing beverage and hopefully some live music because this is one of the coolest bars I think I've been to in a long time. So yeah. So thank you, Troy. I appreciate it, and cheers. You bet.